Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to um, uh, perform a password reset, perform a password recovery on Linux systems. We're going to use a uh, Kali Linux systems, which is a Debian-based uh, Linux systems, but the instructions will work uh, for uh, all uh, Linux distributions using Grub. Right? So, um, suppose that you do have forgotten your password and you are not able to uh, get access to your system. So what you can do is you perform a password recovery to reset your root password and from there on you can actually um, perform uh, and get access to your system using the root user. Okay, so if you think about it a little bit more, um, actually an attacker who has access to your physical machine is actually able to do the same thing and uh, although your system is protected by a password, he can use the password recovery method to gain access to your system. Okay, so uh, let's see how this is done. Okay, we're going to reboot the system, so we can do this by clicking on the restart button here. Or we can also power off and on the uh, machine, uh, if it is a physical machine. Let's uh, restart the machine. Right, and uh, we give it a while for the system to come up. And you're going to get this flash screen, right, it's on the uh, selection of your uh, kernel. So let's... Um, Let's do, uh, let's mount, let's, let's, uh, highlight the Kali Linux, uh, option, which is the default, and, uh, we're gonna type in a lowercase e to edit the options. Right, so, uh, this is what you will see after you type in e, and, uh, look for the line that says Linux. Alright, uh, you can see my cursor that is here. Right, I'm moving my cursor to the end of this line, and I'm gonna make some changes, right? Okay, so, uh, let's not do splash, let's not be quiet. Let's do, instead of read only, we're going to do read write. Alright, and um, we're going to specify this init equals to slash bin slash bash. Right, that's all that you need to do uh, and uh, get out of uh, this screen. So, uh, you want to boot with these options, so uh, have a look here. It says press Control X or F10 to boot, which is what we're going to do. I'm going to type Control X to boot using all these options. And watch what happens. Okay, the system is going to reboot, and when it comes out, it is going to drop into a root shell. So can you see that I have a, I have a pound sign here. This is a root shell, right? Um, so what this allows me to do, right, is um, I can uh, then uh, just change the password. I can simply, oops. I can simply change the password for root, right? So let's do a password, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. So if you look at the um, etc shadow file, you can see that the, um, the, uh, the uh, time stamp is updated. Huh? It's just been modified. The uh, root password has been changed. Right, so uh, from here on, what you need to do is to reset the system and uh, boot, you, uh, boot as per normal. Right, and uh, what is going to happen is that uh, you have already reset the root password. You are now able to assess your system using the root user ID and the password which you have set just now. Tada! You're in, right? So how long did it take? Probably no more than three, four minutes, and you're in. You have a root uh, shell. You have, I mean, you you are you have access to the uh, root user on this machine. So the important thing that you need to note is that once you have the physical access to your device, uh, you know, uh, a lot of these uh, security that you set up, such as passwords. It's actually very easy, it's actually very trivial to compromise, right?